everybody welcome back to another video the t on mpd and relationships hello everyone of course to all of my new subscribers and new family members hello and welcome to my tribe and family at large listen y'all welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video of course y'all know i love to always mention our thursday y'all yes thursday night live streams listen this is where we do it y'all we go from healing to wholeness to boldness Listen, you don't want to miss the Thursday night live stream. You want to be there. All right. Five o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Five o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'd love to see you there. And every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus 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 on the likes, y'all. If you rock with your girl, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Y'all know what I'm doing, right? Y'all rocking with me. Hit that like button. One, two. Hit that like button. Y'all rock with your girl. All right. Rock with me. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's jump into the topic of this video. Let's get to it. I want to hop right to it. I want to hop right to it. Let's get right to it. When the narcissist realizes, okay, that you have done the final discard and you're never returning, okay? This is where it gets crazy, y'all. So I want y'all to understand something about narcissists is that narcissists do not typically do a final discard a final discard is usually uh done by the supply okay narcissists because they don't like to lose control of supply they don't like to lose control of you they don't like to lose control of uh anyone that they've ever had control of and not only that narcissists like to build what we call a narcissistic harem OK, a harem of supply people, they can always bounce back to monkey branch to, you know, this is what these birds love to do. OK, these backwards walking giraffes want to always have somebody to bounce back monkey branch to. They always need supply. So because they are codependent individuals and they always need supply, the the uh, chances of them doing a final discard is next to never okay it's next to never so when watch this when a narcissist realizes that you have just done that you have done a final discard and you are never returning oh it gets real crazy oh it gets real crazy i'm about to show y'all how crazy it gets Okay, so now the narcissist, because they have no wisdom, okay, they have no foresight on, you know, they have insight, you know, because, because they do work with demonic intel. They got insight as to how to manipulate and abuse you, but they don't have any foresight as to you getting tired of the abuse. Yeah, these birds don't understand that, okay? They don't, they don't think that one day you're just one day. You're going to wake up and just really get tired of what these clowns have been doing over and over to you. You know, just going on and on. I mean, just making your life a living hell. OK, they don't ever think that you're going to get you're, you're going to ever get tired of being with them because the whole thing is to make you think that you need them. OK, that's the whole thing to make you think that you need to be there with them. But when it gets crazy and this is a lot of times and the reason you need to know about this is because this is where they actually go into the psychotic behaviors. OK, and when I say psychotic, I'm talking about depending on where the narcissist ranges uh, on the spectrum can depend on what type of behavior you're going to see. OK, because when you activate this place of a final discard, when you just like uh, I'm pushing the final discard button, I'm done with you. OK, what you have literally done is you have taken your foot. It, this is what is equated to. You have you know how a person it, how they drop people down in the ocean. Right. And, you know, uh, they're scuba with the scuba gear. And sometimes, you know, somehow or another the cord gets uh, wound up or it gets knotted up and it may have a kink in it and they have to get it out real quick because 
uh the the person can lose oxygen okay so what this is is like you done either took your foot and put it on there or somebody just took that cord and just put a serious kink in and cut off the oxygen supply it's it's equated to something like that you know what i'm saying like, the hope to god nobody will ever do that to anybody you know but i'm just saying this is what that is equated to a narcissist's supply is like their oxygen it is their life source okay this is what they use to to uh to i mean they have to have this supply to basically live out each one of you know every day they got to they every day they get up looking for supply so when you activate that place of the final discard this is where these clowns go into that full blown obsession and go nuts on you okay and what happens is when they realize that you're never coming back and this is why i tell you all you think that the narcissist has so much power the narcissist doesn't have any power the power belongs to you because you the one that's got sense enough to heal the narcissist will never heal so how can a person that will never heal from their disorder and they are disordered and this thing can't ever change how can they have the power over somebody that's got sense and then not only that you have the ability to listen and you have the ability to ask god for wisdom a narcissist is never going to ask for wisdom they are they are just some they are listen a narcissist is a selectively i mean listen here you need to understand this about a narcissist a narcissist is a special kind of uh, crazy okay and they are special kind of stupid this is this is a narcissist period so when you are not coming back to them this narcissist is going to go into full blown blowing up your phone i mean obsessed with you because you are not allowed to do that now they're allowed to play with you and discard you and do all of these things back and forth but baby when you put the end behind that thing see a lot of y'all and and the reason i'm telling y'all about this too is because you gotta be careful for those of you that are getting ready to hit that final discard button and y'all about to get rid of that narcissist know know who your enemy is meaning know the temperament of this narcissist because you gotta be careful when you are going and leaving and you are you at the point of no return and you're never coming back make sure you protect yourself especially if you got a nut job on your hands because the obsession is going to that that's going to be automatic why because a narcissist once you tell them you don't want them they want you make that make sense once you tell them that you don't want to have nothing to do with them you're done with them i don't want you anymore you know you have done x y and z now they might not their effort i mean really in that moment they'll tell you i don't care you you could do this and you could do that but a narcissist they know that they need you so what they're saying to you in that moment is an absolute lie but what they're trying to do is is they're trying to uh basically save their egos they're trying to secure they're trying to keep that ego safe and they don't want you to see them sweat okay they don't want you to see them sweat because then you will know that the words that you are saying to them actually bothers them but baby when you tell them that you gone and that you never coming back oh that narcissist feel that oh yes they do they feel that thing and and when you when you really pull that cord and you snatch up the power grid and you are never coming back and you type the end behind that situation you are going to get the phone calls you are going to get the text messages you are going to get the emails you are going to get them showing up at your family's house they're going to be calling your relatives they're going to be calling your friends anybody they can get in contact with that can possibly talk to you some of y'all going to talk to me in the comment section y'all going to testify that this fool this bird i'm telling you because a fool is denoted by their by their behavior and these are some foolish individuals the way they behave this is how they behave 
They are going to try to get to you through your children. If you have children together with them, the narcissist, if y'all, uh, some of y'all are probably already experiencing parental alienation. Okay. But if you aren't, when you type the end behind that and you have children with them, they are absolutely going to try to alienate your children from you. Why? Because they are obsessed with having power over you. And when you get strong enough to say no more, I am tired typing the end behind that this right here just depending on what type of supply they have in the backdrop this right here is something that can actually send them into an institution this can actually cause them to collapse if they don't have uh ample supply behind you and you just all you out of the blue i mean just out of nowhere you hit that final discard that narcissist could be put on a 72 hour hold they could be, uh, uh, they could go into a collapse situation. Some of them have even uh, been had to put in a mental institution. They needed some, they, they were on a psychotic break behind it because they are not used to having it done to them. They want to manipulate and play with you, you know, and, and play with your life. Okay, play with your everything. Put your life on a chessboard and play you like chess pieces and the devil is a liar. But this is what happens when you when you hit that final discard and when they realize that they've been final discarded and you're never coming back, this is what happens. Be careful. You know, protect yourself. The narcissist's whole thing is protecting their image and their ego. You understand what I'm saying? This right here is a direct blow to their image. It's a direct blow to their ego. And what it does is it releases an unprecedented amount of shame in that narcissist. And they can't take that. Okay. That's something I told y'all before that shame is something that they constantly run from. So listen, if you're, if you're thinking about it, please make sure you protect yourself. Pass this video along to some folks, some other folks that can also use this information. But baby, when you take your power back and you decide to final discard that narcissist, baby, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. They are not ready. Okay? So be really good to yourselves, all right, family? And I, was, I love you all, and I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.